Hello everybody, welcome to our gaming, and today I am bringing you Joey Wheeler's deck recipe from Duelist Kingdom. Now, before I did Yugi's, and it didn't work out too great for anybody, um, we didn't manage to win a single round in that video, but today I'm hoping that it might go a little bit better. In the deck there's a couple of uh, dual cards, like uh, we've got some Axe Raiders and there's also an additional Armoured Lizard. Basically because the fusion material, you know, the fusion monsters themselves, they are not considered part of the deck recipe itself, it's, it's in an extra deck, so I want to put in a few additional cards, but I just used doubles just to make it as close to the, you know, real thing as I could. So let's just start here, we're in the Duelist Challenges and we're taking on Rex Raptor. Uh, let's hope I don't get my butt kicked in the first round, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're screwed. <laughs> we are so screwed. And there's a good old red eyes black dragon. I wanted the shonen jump picture but I couldn't get it. It's not on this game. Once per turn of the monster special summon by the effect of an evil tile monster except during the damage step you can target one card on the field to destroy that target. Well it's not too difficult to destroy these cards so... I don't know. We'll just summon a Sam Warrior and just see where we go. See where's a thousand attack points take us. And there's me screwing up the faces already. So there's an Evil Town the Jasho with two thousand defense points. Hmm. If you tribute it, you can special summon one Evil Saur from your deck. Pretty OP. Okay, so I don't think Tiger Axe is going to help us any, but we've got to summon it anyway. That's pretty much all we can do, so I think we're probably dead this turn. I think we'll take somebody on from the storyline, maybe, you know. Uh, one of the weaker duelists from the story instead of these duelist challenges, because these challenges are for, like, really good decks. Uh, a custom one, you know. Obviously, for all your Yu-Gi-Oh! vets out there, you'll be thinking, What are you doing? Why are you taking on these people with these cards? So what I'll do is, I'll go into campaign and I'll just take on a random player. And we will just fight, I don't know, we'll say. So we'll fight Weevil and just do a user deck and go to the Joey Jealous Kingdom deck. And take on these guys and see how we do. So we'll go second so we get that first card draw. Okay, so we've got Axe Raider right off the bat there. Got his little boost from his little forest field card. He's going to stomp me with a basic insect. Got 
God, do you remember all these cards when we were kids? God, Kagamusha, the Blue Flame, all, all, all these different cards. It was just, they were so puny, even when they first came out, this game was first released. They're still puny monsters, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing special about them. It makes you wonder if they just existed just for storyline purposes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, or if, like, they were just fusion material, just never supposed to be decent monsters. So we can't summon it and that's time, so just gotta leave it. That thing always freaks me out because it looks like a scarab from the film The Mummy. You just imagine that thing just boring into your skin, just sitting there as a lump. He fucking disgusted me. <laughs> so we've got this little guardian of the labyrinth. Maybe it can survive one turn, you know. We'll set up our energy drain. See what we can do with that, you know. Energy drain's a decent card. Times 200 attack points for all the cards in your opponent's hand. Uh, I'm going to activate it now because I don't want to put any cards down. I know we're still going to get stomped by the Hercules Beetle. So it doesn't make much of a difference anyway. These these starting Duelist Kingdom decks are, you know, re really really puny things. They're not they're not they're not powerful decks. They're really shit decks. I just want to make them so you guys could actually see them in action. Thought it'd be pretty cool for all you old school you Yu-Gi-Oh guys out there. So that's two losses with this deck as well. There's the Man Eater bug, so it wouldn't have mattered if we got a decent monster on the field anyway. There's the direct attack, that's us dead. Resonance Insects, was well, that alright? So yeah guys, that's pretty much how good or bad Joey's deck is. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you in deck edit, just so you can see what's actually inside this deck. So as you can see we've got a Foolish Burial, a Legendary Sword, Monster of Barn, three Polymerizations, we've got Salamandra, Energy Drain, Grave Robber, Kunai Machain, there was Trap Hole, we didn't draw any of that good stuff. As you know though, some of these cards do different things in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series than they do in the actual card game itself. So, there's that as well. As you see with the double axe raider and the other armor lizard. All those really basic monster cards that you had at Jealous Kingdom. Nothing particularly strong. Nothing particularly effective. There was what I was talking about the three fusion monsters. Guilty of the Dark Knight, Flame Swordsman, Thousand Dragon. All that good stuff. But we didn't get the chance to get any of it on the field, so unfortunately, Joey's deck is a complete and utter train wreck and just does not live up to any standard of today's Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards. So, thanks for tuning in guys. Do leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Next episode I will be working on a My Valentine um, deck, a My Valentine copy of our Jules Kingdom deck. Her deck at Jules Kingdom is almost the same as our Battle City deck, so there might only be one My episode. But we'll see how things go. But I do look forward to that episode next time. And I'll see you later, guys.